This is a night that our foundation, along with our grateful families, gets to honor our caregivers, our nurses, doctors, and the staff at the hospital. And it's a really great tribute to all the work they do for all of our young patients. <laughs> They're the ones at the end of the day that are making those lives different and saving the lives as well as making the day in that hospital different for not just the children but also the parents and the family as a whole. I mean, they're the ones that need to be honored. It's huge for the families to be able to say thank you. It's really a part of the healing process. Um, it's so important for them to have a purpose behind the experience. And for many of these families, saying thank you is that purpose. I was stunned at his humility, uh, his willingness to admit that when things go wrong, it's not a sign of failure, it's just progress. It's just getting through to the next step and figuring out what's going to work, what's going to make him better. She'd look at me and she'd say, now let's talk about you. Anything you want to complain about? So she was, she was just really nice. I always made sure that I was, you know, happy. He was there in the beginning when she got diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. And he was also there at the end um, when God called her home. She was right there to encourage him every step of the way. Um, she really empowered us as parents um, that these things take time. Uh, we're not gonna see big changes overnight, but you know, he'll get there when he's ready. sets her aside in our story is the fact that no matter what surgeries Evie's had, clinic, whenever Ann's in the room, Evie comes down a notch. She not only has helped him at Cardinal Glennon, but she's really concerned about what is he doing outside, um, you know, in his environment to be active and to participate. Without fail of any sort, I mean, she she'll cry with you, she'll laugh with you. She just she shows all of those feelings and all those, you know, right what you're feeling. She's right there with you, you know, every second. It was just always a bright spot, you know. No matter how blue the day was for Tiffany, you know, when she was in pain and she was hurting, she would just she just always put a smile on her face. It was always just kind of a highlight to wake her up and, and just to make her feel good. They have made such a difference in our children's lives. They are thriving and just developing beyond words. At least uh, once a week, um, I hear from a family that somehow says, how's Mary doing? What's going on with Mary? Uh, oh, she's so wonderful to talk with. Um, she's really been my big help. You mean the world to me. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here, and I wouldn't have met this guy. Thank you so much, Dr. Sadiq. I owe you more than you can possibly imagine. Because you gave me the love of my life. And Frank, I love you so much, and you're such a special part of my life and I hope you can be there to help walk mommy down the aisle. Love you. So much of what you do as a nurse, yes, it's out of uh, what you were taught, but so much of it is from your heart that when you realize that people felt that it was from your heart and not just your head, it's amazing. It brings you to tears and makes you feel so humble that, uh, you know, that God has blessed me with such, such, uh, such blessings and such uh, beautiful families that I can take care of and how truly, truly we really reveal the healing presence of God. I mean, I, I, I take that totally to heart every time I come to work.